thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Cage848, and welcome back to TCG Card Shop Simulator Bloodbath and Beyond Edition. Now, I did not open up 256 card packs before I started recording today. I've been doing that pretty much every video. I mean, I've been opening up anywhere between 128 and 256 card packs at the beginning of every video. And honestly, I just kind of want to step away from that for a little bit. We will be opening up some card packs today. But I just didn't want to do it before the episode started. What are we going to be doing today? Well, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. I'm going to try something different today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for stuff that does not sell for a high profit. And I'm going to undercut the market price. Or, mm, see, oh, if I do the market price on this, I don't even make any money. I lose money. Oh, okay. Well, I guess some of these, I'm going to go as low as I can, is what I'm trying to say for a lot of this stuff. Uh, do I want to round it or not? See, here's the thing. My original idea was to go to under the market price, but the markets change every day, so that's going to be hard to maintain. Um, I think for these, I am going to stay at 10% uh, and round up. Um, for the more expensive things, I am definitely staying at 10% rounded up. All right, if, it's, if, it's, if the profit is pretty good, we're staying at the 10% and rounded up. But for the cheaper stuff, I will lower the price and try and entice more people to buy this stuff. And I'm hoping to just get a lot more levels and a lot more experience by doing that. So let's take a look. Okay, so these right here, these are something I would like to undercut the market price. So if I go to 243 um, for market price, let's go with, um, you know, I almost want to go with $2, really undercut it because I don't like 250 and I guess 225 isn't bad. Let's go with 225 undercutting the market, market, market price in a big way. Um, hopefully we'll be able to sell big money with these. Uh, so this is 206. Yeah, let's go with $2 on that one. I just wish the prices didn't change every day because it's kind of hard to maintain this when you have this much product. Also, the mats. The mats are something. I heard that mats are a really good way to like um, get levels, but you got to go under the market price. So let's go with $31. And even then, I'm still making $16 profit uh, undercutting the market, you know? So right here, market price, let's go with 325. And again, still making 1747. Do I really need that extra dollar? I mean, if I can go under the market price and really start selling stuff at a high rate, maybe I can get that level up a little quicker. Because honestly, right now it's all about level. So let's go with 50 cents on that one. And I don't normally do a lot of this going through and dealing like with price stuff. Um, I think if you do it too much, it can make for a boring video, which is why I don't tend to do it. But I think in this situation, it's going to be a really interesting thing. That's why I don't know if you noticed the past couple of videos, I've been like really paying attention to what I sell as far as product goes. And I'm anywhere between $3,500 and, and $5,000. I'm usually around $4,000 to $4,500 though. Um, so we're just going to kind of go with it and see what we can do. Um, I was actually like looking into some of this. I might actually make more money doing this because people are going to buy so much of it. The problem is then we have to stock a lot of it. And, you know, honestly, if it was just for the money, I wouldn't do it. I don't really think it's worth it just for the money. But, but, but it might be for the level, the level, the level boost I'm hoping to get. Oh, you know what? I have not been paying attention to how much experience I've been getting per day. Darn it. All right, well, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Can't do nothing about that now. Um, dice, let's go with 10.50. And right here, $13 sounds good. And then over here for these dice. Now, a lot of people have like gone through, I've actually like looked into a couple of YouTube videos and some people have really done their homework on this game. And like they said, like take out all the tables, don't even have the tables down and just sell product. I might actually go a couple days and then pick up the tables. May you know, maybe I'll pick up the tables in a future video. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, but like then they were like only sell this stuff and don't do this and do that. And honestly, the game was less fun. It was less fun to like watch. And I think it would be less fun to play. So I am not going to play like that because I'm trying to have a good time. Although I will admit... It is probably a much more efficient way to make money and level up. But hey, man, if you're not having fun, what, what's the point, right? Even some people in my Discord who were telling me about all the ways they figured out the best ways to do things, they even said it's it's not as fun. Like, so. 
and market price. These prices are bullshit, man. Everything goes down. Everything goes down in this game. It's unfair. It's unfair, bro. It's it's really unfair because in real life everything's going up, and in this freaking game everything's going down. It's like what is that? That's a BS. That's what that is. Thirteen dollars. As long as that profit stays, you know, good. I'm not gonna go too far under market price. We should be okay. All right. I want to open up the freaking store because I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna continue going through the prices, but I'd like to get the ball rolling here. So experience gain is twenty six forty. I really wish I looked at that. Over the last few days, I totally forgot. Um, item earning, wow, 2857. That's really low. I wonder if I was running out of stuff. I'm not really sure. That that seems really low. And that was before I changed any of the prices, obviously. There we go. And then let's go ahead and pay this. The cool thing is we've got a lot of money, so we've got a lot of headroom. And if like something goes wrong or whatever, then you know. Um, it's not good. Like I can always go back. The, the only thing I don't, the only thing I don't like about doing this is going through and adjusting all these prices sucks. It really does. Um, I don't like it and I wish I didn't have to do it, but, and I won't do it often guys. Like if this doesn't work right or if I don't feel like doing it again, I won't because coming through and changing all these prices is, is the least amount of fun I've had in this game so far. Did I just do this one? I think I did. All right. And you... 50 on that. And right here, we're going to go and let's just drop 30. Oh, it's because I'm not hitting the 10% market thing. That's why. Okay. All right. Never mind. Never mind. I thought, I thought everything I'm going through, I'm like, why are all the prices falling so much? Um, they're not, it's just, I usually was doing 10% and now I'm doing no percent markup. So no, everything's, everything's fine. Zero. zero. I hope the um the people at the checkout counters are ready because there's gonna be a lot of stuff sold. I hope the stalkers are ready too. 25. What do we got down here? For, uh 75. And here, um 50. And here 25. And let's get these green ones too. I didn't get these. 75. So you can see exactly what I'm doing here. And I'll probably be ringing someone up at some point, which is why I'm going to quarters. Like if it, if it was just the um, computer doing it, I wouldn't go to quarters. I would just, um I would go to whatever the market value is and be done with it. But I will be ringing people up at some point. And I'll be damned if I'm going to be dealing with dimes and nickels. Actually, we'll stick with that one. 375 sounds good. That's good. I think we're just about done with this. Um, we will have to hit up the uh the the plushies and and figurines next, but we're, we're almost done. There we go. And here, fifty. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what everyone's saying. I'll do the plushies at some point. Let's just look around and see if it, if like, oh my God, these prices. Uh, I'd be losing money not to buy these items. Okay, never mind. So then I say, they don't say anything about the plushies because I didn't do anything with the plushies. All right, fine, let's do the plushies. Uh, that would be 50. You, my friend, will be 75. You will be, I'll stick with market price if it's exactly on a quarter. Uh, 25, 75. Oh boy, that's a sucky one. Zero, zero. Um, 25. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I might have. I don't know. I at least got most of everything. Yeah, like when it's 51, because I could just knock one penny off and be under market value. Like this is a good one too. Knock two pennies off, under market value. Uh, knock five cents off, under market value. And knock three pennies off, 
under market value. Okay, people should just be going crazy now. Also, a good way to get levels is by opening packs. So let's go ahead and open some packs. Yeah, um, having your people, you know, ringing everyone up while you're opening packs is by far the best way to get experience because you're getting experience by opening packs. They're getting experience by bringing people up. It's a win-win situation. Unless you don't get any good cards. Yeah, even if you don't get good cards, you're still, you know, you're still getting some experience. Although the experience, I think, is based on the total value of the pack you got. Oh, there we go. All right, and that's a double, which means I can sell it. All right, let's open up some more packs. I might have a problem with this many um, stalkers with um, what I'm assuming is going to be a really, really just insane amount of buying. I think people are gonna buy up all my product and I may need more stalkers to keep up. Is that an extra? Yes, it is. You know, I'm kinda, actually I shouldn't be happy when I get extras. I'm trying to, I'm trying to complete the set. But when I get an extra, I'm like, oh, I could sell that, but who cares? Like, complete the darn set. Let's finish this box. I want to mess around with the um, with the stink machines or the the anti stink machines or whatever. <laughs> uh, I got an idea. Someone told me something that'll work. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it out. And we'll we'll just kind of have to see. Uh, I remain unconvinced, but we'll, I'm always open to having my uh, uh, you know being enlightened on what works and what doesn't. Yeah, a couple more. I wonder if you get one of those like $17,000 cards, how much experience you get for that. I would imagine quite a bit. Like it would have to be a, a few hundred experience, right? Almost done with this box. Then I gotta go turn on the light. Get a little dark here. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting scared. Yeah, there's a whole lot of junk. Okay, so uh, all right, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this out. Oops, I turned it off. I'm gonna take this out, box it up, chuck it on the ground, do the same thing with this one. And then I do have a big one around here somewhere. Well, I don't know what I did with it. Uh, where is it? Dude, I know I bought one. There it is. So somebody said to put this on in the inside and it's got like a, a larger range. So it should get everyone. Oh, that's not the way it's supposed to go. Oops. I don't think it really matters, but. So I, I was told this thing has a longer range. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, I moved the um the stink spray over to here. There we go. And it's on. And let's go ahead and take these out just to see if that one thing can handle them. Um, I, what I need to know is I need to know the cooldown timer on the big one because if two stinky people come in like one after the other, it's not going to matter if this thing's on a cooldown timer. Plus, I can't have them like walking this way because then they might not get hit by it. Um, I'm not really sure. We're just going to kind of have to wait until someone stinky comes in. People seem to be going crazy. I didn't seem to say anything good about my prices though. Say something good about my prices, you idiots. Come on, stinkies. Where are you? So I'm thinking I could put one here and one here, and that might be good enough. And then, but the thing is, if they walk in and they just go this way, they might not get hit. But I heard these big ones have like really large spray area. So we're just gonna have to kind of see about that. I'm gonna box this up too. And I'm gonna box this up as well. Okay. All right, here comes two stinkies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. 
So this thing definitely has a timer. You can see a little circle above the on machine. Uh, so I'm thinking these guys are probably far enough away from each other, though. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, he's he's good. Is that timer going off? Yep, yep. So there's definitely a timer. So one of these will not be enough. Definitely will not be enough. So let's go ahead and buy a second one. All right, where'd it go? There it is. I think. Actually, this might be the other ones. Don't worry, I'll clean up here later. Here's the big one. That's it. Lock them into place. All right, fill this out. Put this in there. And I, I think um that might be good enough. The only thing is, like I said, if they walk in on an angle like this, that second one might not hit them. But it might. It might. Did you just say something? What did you say? I didn't see it. I want to see people go, oh man, this price is on Easter. Oh, it's crazy. There's a big sale here at Bloodbath and Beyond. It's a bloodbath sale. It's a, it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna work that into the title, but <laughs> try to figure something out. You saying anything? Nobody's saying anything. At least not that I saw. Someone was definitely saying something earlier. I just didn't see it. Yeah. What you got? Oh, is that my stalker? Okay. My stalker's amazed with the prices. <laughs> He's like, "Why are you charging so little, Cage? I'm never gonna be able to keep up." All right. What's this guy gonna say? Is that, that's one of my stalkers too. Okay, never mind. Guess I'm just gonna wait. I guess I can clean up a little bit. I should probably just start selling stuff, you know? Even if I buy this back, who cares? Like, it's not worth the mess out here. Um, I won't get rid of those, because those are a little pricey and I, I kind of want to use them. to this too there we go whoa what the hell the hell bro what the it's so weird the way like what this thing isn't like going where i want it to i just put it right there i might just sell them because they're pissing me off <laughs> these stinkies make it oh we got two stinkies coming in hold on hold your noses here they come. They might not be close enough, though. See, this is going to be recharged by the time that other stinky SOB gets here. Well, hold on. Maybe not. Yep, it was. I don't know. I think the second one would have hit her, though. I'm going to leave it open for now. Oh, hold on. Nope, they're all refreshed. I'm going to leave it open for now. We'll see if uh, stinky mofos can get in. Kind of see. So far, they're not, which is cool. So far, so good. This seems like it could be the perfect setup, which is pretty freaking sick. Uh, right now, I am reordering, but I don't think there's much to reorder. So that looks pretty good. I do have a few things here, though. Order that stuff. And let's see how the sale did for us today. All right. So what was that? 2,600 experience? $4,600 now? That was what, $2,800? $4,600 is high. Um, now, before the sale, I've had a one or two days where it was $5,000, but $4,600 is high, okay? Uh, and $3,400, I mean, I only looked at it for one day, but that's way more than the, what was it, twenty six. So, although I was opening packs, so I don't know if how that fig I don't know how that factors in. I think that does count, so I don't know. I'd have to not open packs to get a better idea. And honestly, I don't really want to do that. Um, so I don't want to not open packs. All right. So let's come through here. And we need to move some stuff. Nah, we'll do that next time. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, don't want to hire another person for stocking. I don't think... I think they seem to be doing okay. I think they seem to be doing okay. I do need to keep a look at look at stinky people. Make sure they're, they're good to go. Um, and I think while I'm keeping a lookout for the, for the Stinkos, I'm going to go ahead and open up some packs. There we go. We're off to a good start. Okay. I just need to keep a look at stinky people coming in and if the stalkers are keeping up. And those are the only two things I'm really concerned about right now. Oh, nice. So let's see how much experience we get for this. 
when do I get it? Do I get it now? Yeah, 83 experience for that at $300. Okay, very good. So what is today? Today's Friday. All right, so I'm going to be streaming this Saturday. Uh, this video is going up on Saturday. Very nice card. Uh, if you're watching this video right now, Saturday morning, I will be streaming in a few hours. I will be streaming at um, 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, so keep a lookout. I will be playing this world. It will be episode 25, the one after this. So should be a lot of fun. What am I going to do next? Step? What am I going to do for the stream episode? <clears throat> That's a good question. That is a good question. I, got, I think I got a couple things I'm going to buy. But I don't want to talk about it right now. I want it to be a surprise. So, and I don't know when my, oh, is my next shop e expansion at 43? You know, it very well might be. No, it's at 50. That's right. That's right. I got screwed. Wait, is it? No, no, no. It might be 43. I'll, I'll check in a moment. Hold on. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to check. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Even to me. You know, I should probably do some uh, ringing people up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, you. Uh, why don't you restock shelves? Yeah, ringing people up would be a good idea. Because, um, wait, is fair? What do you mean fair? It's under market value, you piece of crap. You should be dancing in the streets. Is it? Actually, it could be because it changed. No, it's not under market. Did I have this one under market value? I think I did. Man, I don't want to have to come through here and do these prices every single day. All right, that's under market value, but um, I think I could do better with that. Yeah, 50. Yeah, these are changing every day, like, and significantly. Uh, so there's a mod that will automatically change your prices on your predetermined, you know, whatever you want them to be. Like, if you want, you know... If I want things to be under market value to the closest 25 cent marker, there's a mod for that. But man, I really don't want to do a mod. I hope the developers put that in the game. Like, it's not so bad in the beginning or even in mid game. But once you get to the point I'm at, you've got this much merchandise. I don't want to have to go through every single piece of merchandise I do. And I know you don't have to. What you could do is you could come into here and find all your merchandise and then go through it after the fact. But honestly, even looking in here is, is more than I would like to do. Like looking right here. Okay. Rare card boxes. Boom. You need to take a look at those. Uh, everything else looks pretty. Yeah. Rare card boxes. All right. Yeah. It looks about it. Oh, which one of those? Those are these, right? No, maybe it's the, wait, hold on. Yeah, rare card boxes, rare. Oh, wait, what the heck? This, okay, I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things. It's been a long day. I might be seeing things, but yeah, you're looking for those big rises like right here, legendary destiny boxes. That's something you might want to look at. There you go. But even then, like, I don't want to be going through that either. I really don't. <laughs> so, uh, or like, if you want to like make us pay someone to do it, I'm cool with that. Like, allow us to hire a... um. I don't know what you call it, a store manager that that like does things like maybe they can even order for you. I don't know if I want them ordering for me. 45, 25. But yeah, I mean, I don't know something. It's, no, I shouldn't be doing it. Uh, 124. Yeah. I don't really seem like they're buying all that much more stuff. Really? 850. I mean, considering it's all under, well, it could be under market value, but if the market, if the market shifted, it might be a little above market value or significantly below market value. 75. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not going through a, I'm not going through every price tag every day. Not doing it. Refuse. 79, 75. And you know, to be fair, you don't really have to. You're just not going to get that, like, that really, really optimal game experience, which I'm okay with, you know, 90, 90% optimization for me or 90% or efficiency beats out 99% efficiency. If I don't have to go change every price in the store every day, that's just my own personal opinion. Hey, stinky. So I really like the idea that these things are working through the walls. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think the developers are going to not make it so it doesn't go through the walls because, you know, from a logical standpoint, the fact that these are you know, going through walls doesn't make much sense. But here's the thing. Maybe allow us to put an event system there because I don't like the idea of taking a floor room with these giant air fresheners. You know what I mean? Um, how about allowing us to like 
like maybe replace this wall with a vent so the air fresheners can hit through like walls and it makes sense. Not a bad price, really. What do you mean not a bad price? It's a freaking steal. Oh, maybe it's, I don't see. All right, 50. There we go. Now it's a steal. Come on, bro. Damn, it was like, what was it like? A few cents over market value? This is tempting. Well, it's under market value. It should be tempting. I mean, I could just go negative 10%, I guess. But, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I did make more money the first day. I would really need a good five days of running the store like this to really know. Okay, so right here, we're still at 33.88. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't remember if I opened any cards. Uh, so I, I don't think I did. Um, I'm going to go tomorrow without opening any cards, and we're going to look at this again. And um, I think what I'm going to do is, just, just for the heck of it, let's just go for it. I don't really care. Well, I'm not going to mess with that one, because for some reason, the market price is so low on this one. I mean, my goodness. Um, 842. Uh, let's go with 875 on this one. Okay. And then for the rest of them, negative 10%. How about that? Wait. Price 40. Wait, what? Hold on. Negative 10%. And then round. Okay. That was weird. Did I hit plus 10% or I didn't notice? I don't know. Anyway, 43. Yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just go. Let's go ham. I'm really curious on what this is going to do. At negative 10%, because now I'm seriously under market value. Okay. Let's do it, guys. We are just about the end of the day here, and I just said to hell with it. I went through every single thing, negative 10%, and <laughs> people are very happy in my store. Uh, we're just going to see how this goes. I'll probably run it for a few days, and I'll report to you guys. Um, well, I guess, I guess I, well, you know what? If you come to the stream tomorrow, you'll see it in real time. Cause I'll be running it a couple days on the stream. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might want to put it back up to plus 10%. I don't know if this really matters that much, but I mean, I don't know. Like I, I, like I showed you that first, you know, day where I had it normally, normally I've been running the store at plus 10% and then I round things. Uh, that first day that I had that, I was, I, I believe it was 2,600 experience, correct? I'm pretty sure. And now it's been 3,300 two days in a row. And I don't think I opened up any packs yesterday, although maybe I could have. I know I didn't open up any packs today, so we will definitely know moving forward. Uh, are you going to sit down with them? Hmm? Okay. All right. You're going to sit down by yourself, and then I'm going to kick you out because there's nobody else here to play with. Oh, I'm just going to buy stuff. Okay, cool. I'm going to pick these up. I'm not going to open up any packs, so I'm just going to kind of put these in the back. There we go. I think I'm gonna have too many packs to put back there. Yeah, like I said earlier, like, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, you might be able to min-max, but I don't have fun changing the, the prices that much. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll see. If you guys have any anything you'd like to say about it to me in real time, make sure you come to the stream today. All right, that's all good. We'll just leave that right there. And I guess to get the ultimate, I'm gonna have to wait for them to actually be done. So I will come back when they are done with their game. Okay, everybody's gone. Let's see how we did. All right, look at that. 3,700 experience. Uh, it made four, almost $5,000 in item earning. Okay, what that says is negative uh, 10% is getting me more experience and around the same amount of money. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. You know what? I'm going to leave it at negative 10% for a few days. I'll go through and negative 10% it again at some point. Uh, but I'm not going to do it every day. Um, but I will do it every every few days. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Negative. A lot of people. Hey, somebody's going to tell me in the comments. I told you to put it in negative. I know. I know. I just. Um, I don't know. I just didn't want to do it till now. But um, yeah, it does seem to work. So we're going to have to see how much it's going to work. I mean, that was only one day. We'll have to see how much it's going to work moving forward. But the experience, 3,700 experience. I didn't open up a single card pack. Uh, that's definitely more than I was getting, at least for the one day I paid attention. I guess I could theoretically go back through all my videos and see the experience. I wasn't paying attention to the experience per day for my entire for this entire series. I could technically go back and look at it, but ugh, I don't really want to do that. So I think it's more experience, and I think it's quite a bit more experience. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.